Hello everyone, it's Gia here from the Grant Support Squad reporting the end of our first grant. It is crazy how much we have learned along these first six months with you all and how much we have grown as a team. So here are our six month highlights. So far, the grants program had allocated more than 7.6 million from June 2021 until now. And as you all know by now, we have identified three goals which are to support the grantees, foster transparency, and take care of the Dow Treasury. All these activities we do change constantly, but we are aligned to those goals. So here are some highlights of the activities performed during this first grant. About supporting the grantees, we have onboarded 93 grantees and we are currently supporting 67 active grants. We had more than 70 meetings with grantees and we have identified almost 50 blockers and requests. From those, 30 have successfully been solved and the other 20 are still being addressed by our team. We have also improved the grantee support by identifying 40 advisors for blockers and requests and set up more than 50 connections between grantees and advisors to address their needs. Along this process and the learnings we have had, we have coordinated four Ask Me Anything sessions with the Central and Foundation technical teams to provide support to our grantees regarding the SDK, platform, the apps, and Catalyst. Another frequent request from the grantees is promotion, and we have hosted 30 grantees in 10 town halls. So thank you, Facilitation Squad, for all your support on that. And on promotion requests, we have also published eight articles in the Decentraland blog, and three others are in process. Now, jumping quickly to the second goal regarding fostering transparency in the grants ecosystem, we are constantly encouraging grantees to make frequent updates, and we are hiring to slowly improve uh, grants impact measurements retroactively with an end of a grant report. 31st of our grantees have completed this report, giving us a lot of feedback. And this is helpful not only for us to make a better grants program, but also to understand how our grants program helped our community members develop new skill sets and nurture the entire ecosystem. So far, we know that 57 grantees finished their projects, 33 during these last six months, and 24 that we have traced before this period that the grant support has been active. Regarding fostering fluent communication, we are currently working with DAO core units, DAO community, DAO grantees, and Decentral Foundation to improve fluent communication and connections among different actors. And about the third goal, which is to guarantee an efficient use of the community treasury, we have been working on the creation of a new committee to revoke grants. So far, a poll and a pre-proposal have passed, and now we are waiting for the governance proposal. If we have the community backing this up, this will be one activity that we will be focusing on for the next few months. Now, regarding revocations, we have recommended the DAO committee to revoke 10 grants, which brought back to the community $612,000. And it is important to say that we have made these recommendations attached to the compromise that once the grantee is able to show they are back in roadmap, their contract is being renewed, their vesting contract is being renewed. So this being said, we have already recommended the generation of three new vesting contracts to match the proposed roadmaps of these grantees. Now, uh, as you can see, we have been doing a lot of listening to the community to make a better grants program. We have hosted our first open session to review the grants journey with the current and past grantees. We have implemented the final report to measure impact. Um, we are creating a whole new framework to create uh, the new committee and we have provided insights to the DAO committee to improve the grants program with their proposals. And based on all of this work, we would like to share four learnings that we have had during this grant. The first one is that our grants are onboarding the next generation of Web3 entrepreneurs. As one of the BitBlocks members said, these past six months have been really formative in many ways. It has helped us make huge progress, not only in the technical aspects, but also in the human and process side of working in a multidisciplinary group of people. So among our grantees, they have expressed that they have learned about the use of Web3 infrastructure and technology, about how to create teams and budgeting, how to get involved in governance processes, how to provide updates to the DAO community, which takes a lot of effort and thinking about transparency first while creating their projects. A second learning that we have had along this uh, time is that changes in grants are good for the project's health. Metrica has shared that 
it is a volatile industry due to the early stages. So there is plenty of road ahead of us to bring the products that the users find more valuable we are in the making. Also Matt from Decentralware said that had they not learned to adapt and go with the flow on the project and instead insisted on sticking to the plan, they would probably will be stuck and still be stuck and trying to make pieces fit into a puzzle that they aren't met for. So along with other grantees, key insights of this learning is that it is important to understand constant changes of web free products, that we need to learn how to deal with a volatile market and adapt to it. And we as a grant support squad need to embrace changes in grantees roadmap as part of their growth. Um, and then let's go to the learning number three, which is uh, that products in Decentraland are shaped by the players. Um, and Ryan from Decentraland Bounty expressed to us that players in Decentraland are ready to play a buggy game with bad graphics. Julia Neos also shared that they received a lot of help from the community, mostly early users, and that this gave a lot of early feedback that helped them iterate the product. So this gives a huge learning for the grantees which is the importance of community building within the central land. And that it is also very important to understand the engagement, to try to engage with these early users willing to give feedback early and embracing iteration and involve players in the process. Now, regarding the last learning we have to share with you is that we need to provide more technical support. Nikki Fuego commented that if her team had not met Will Kane, they would be in a world of trouble and probably would have had to have their grant revoked for not delivering. So even though we are we have done these four Ask Me Anything sessions, the engagement on those sessions helped us validate that there is a need to open spaces, not only to generate bridges between the people behind different projects in Decentraland, but also to provide support to grantees technical blockers. We are also now thinking proactively on bi-weekly and monthly follow-up meetings between grantees and their supporters and also to improve the technical documentation to provide support. So thank you so much for bearing with me through this presentation on our findings for this first grant and see you around.